This video is about lesson outcome number one from section 1.1 of the um, lessons for our course, which is all about defining essential terminology. It's important that we get on the same page about what these different words mean in our statistics book. Um, so the first word is data. Data are collections of observations such as measurements, genders, or survey responses. And statistics, according to the author of our textbook, is the science of planning studies and experiments, obtaining data, organizing, summarizing, presenting, analyzing, and interpreting those data, and then drawing conclusions based on them. In other words, we're just hoping to draw conclusions about a population based on some data set. So for our purposes in our course, we're focused on making sense out of data. So we're gonna have lists of numbers, and instead of having lists of numbers, we'd like to be able to say something about some population. And I'll define exactly what I mean by population in just a moment. Um, other people have said that statistics is really about probability, and they're absolutely right, it is. The way I've always thought of statistics is it's finding a way to measure things that are intrinsically immeasurable. Like how do we measure something that can't be measured? Well, we can measure it in terms of probabilities. That's how I tend to think of statistics. But when you read our book, Triola's approach is to focus on data. It's really almost an applied statistics course. Um, and it's definitely an introductory st statistics course. We don't get into a lot of calculus. Um, the pre uh, prerequisites for this class only inclu include pre-calculus. Um, but our goal is going to be to make sense of data. Um, and that's consistent with the goal of the uh, Triola text, uh, our textbook author. A population is a complete com collection of all measurements or data that are being considered. So it's just everyone. Um, it's everyone that you could possibly think of, and it's talking about all of the measurements. Um, it's the complete collection of data that you'd like to make inferences about. Now, a census is the collection of data from every member of the population. We recently had that 2020 US Census. Um, well, and actually, I don't think that they did get data from every member of the population, but the idea is it's supposed to represent everyone. A sample is a subcollection of data from selected members of the population. Now, typically, we wouldn't take a subset over here like this. We wouldn't just grab a group in one little section and then pull those uh, aside. We would want to randomly select people from that larger population. Um, but a census is when we collect data from everyone. And this everyone is treated as the original population or thought of as the original population. And the sample, well, that's just a subset of the population. And if you're saying, uh, why, why would we do this? Um, the, the reason we would do this is because we're, we're trying to be efficient about time. Um, it's difficult to interview everyone or find data from everyone, but often we don't have to. Often we can take a smaller subset of that population and come to some conclusions um, about the population um, itself. And so that's why we're doing this. We're going to um, take a subset of that population. We're going to compute what are called statistics um, using um, measurements and data from our sample. And then our goal is not just to say something about the sample, but to say something about the original population. Okay, so we're here. Here's an example. Um, it says in the journal article, residential uh, carbon monoxide detector failures, failure rates in the United States. It was stated that there are 38 million carbon monoxide detectors installed in the United States. Okay, so there are 38 million detectors, got it. When 30 of them were randomly selected and tested, it was found that 12 of them failed to provide an alarm in hazardous carbon monoxide conditions. So 12 out of 30 failed. Trying to get my next slide, there it is. The question is, what's the population? Well, and what is the sample? Is it the 38 million, is it the 30, is it the 12? What are we talking about? Oops, these are a little bit out of order. For some reason, the, um, this, 
animations are working incorrectly. Um, it says, in this case, the population and sample are as follows. The population is the 38 million carbon monoxide detectors in the United States. I mean, look at this slide. That's everyone. We're talking about uh, 38 million carbon monoxide detectors. That includes all of them. But rather than taking measurements in all 38 million, we're going to take measurements on 30 of them. So 30, those 30 randomly selected ones, those are our sample. And now our objective here is to use sample data as the basis for drawing a conclusion about the entire population. And we might, might not necessarily be interested in those 30 particular carbon monoxide detector, detectors, excuse me, but we are interested in the 38 million carbon monoxide detectors in the United States. Maybe the results about that, that subset of 30 could tell us something about the 38 million. Um, and I think it can tell us something about the 38 million potentially, but we need to um, compute some statistics and see um, if the results that we get from that sample of 30 um, can really tell us something about everyone, about all 38 million carbon monoxide detectors. Um, now that's it for uh, lesson, uh, unit one, lesson one, learning outcome number one. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.